I'm no doctor, and this isn't medical advice, but I am someone who has suffered from depression over the past 20 plus years. And over the years, I've learned and applied many different techniques of how to deal with it. And for me, I know which methods work and which ones don't. In this video, I'm gonna show you why the most common treatment for depression is actually making you depressed. The problem is that most people who suffer from depression view depression like a beast they have to battle, like a parasite they have to kill, like an infestation they have to wipe out. The most common treatment for depression is to fight it. And that's easy to understand because it is one of the most horrible experiences to have to endure. But the truth is no matter which way you fight it, you will never win. And here's why. As humans, we tend to resist problems or negative experiences that we run into in our lives when we are not able or willing to deal with them. Usually it's because they cause us some sort of emotional pain or suffering. And our natural reaction is to resist the things that cause us pain, which makes sense as a physical defense mechanism. You're not gonna benefit in any way by sticking your dick in a deep fryer. But mentally, when you resist your problems, not only do they persist, but you make them much worse in the long run. Now before I continue, please help me show YouTube that this video is worth watching. Click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. So I don't think most people realize just how much of their life they actually resist because resistance comes in many different forms. We avoid, we ignore, we abstain, we deny, we suppress, we complain, we deflect, we project, and we blame. These are all forms of resistance, but none of them resolve any of our problems. Think of it this way. In psychology, resistance is basically the opposite of resolution. When you resist a problem in your life, all you were really doing is focusing a bunch of negative energy at the fact that you don't like it and don't want it there, with no intention to resolve Resolve the issue, as if that's supposed to make it disappear or something. Imagine that this balloon is your problem, and the air that I'm about to blow into it is the negative energy that you focus on it. The more you feed into it, the more it festers, the more it grows into a giant ball of negative energy because there is nowhere for it to go. But a resolution is a way out. Now energy can flow through your problem, and instead of expanding, it will begin to shrink. This balloon analogy isn't the greatest, I admit, but what the fuck else am I supposed to do with these leftover birthday balloons? So how does all this apply to depression? Well, most of the coping methods that we use to deal with depression are forms of resistance. We avoid our problems, we hide from them, we ignore the reality, we neglect our own personal needs, we abuse alcohol and drugs to suppress our feelings and silence our thoughts, we deny that we even have a problem, we withdraw, we become reclusive, we worry about things instead of taking action, we procrastinate, we complain about things not going our way, we make excuses for things that we have control over, we don't take responsibility, we project our emotions, we blame others for letting us down, and even worse, we blame ourselves. And it's the self-hate that often perpetuates so many irrational beliefs and emotions that either lead to depression or cause it in the first place. Inadequacy, guilt, low self-esteem, jealousy, anger, regret. And amidst all of this chaos, we fail to recognize that none of these reactions are resolutions to any of our problems. Most of them are making them worse or causing them in the first place. It's no wonder depression continues to be the most common mental illness. It's no wonder that 60% of people who commit suicide suffer from depression. It's no wonder that people like you have to resort to watching videos like this. Clearly, the methods that we use to deal with depression do not work. Resisting depression doesn't work. It will never work. Resistance is not a resolution, but there is a resolution. There are many resolutions. 
Finding them can be kind of tricky, but they are out there if you stop resisting and start looking. Think of the balloon with a hole in it. A resolution can be as easy as something that allows energy to flow through it rather than against it. Something that allows you to release negative energy that's trapped inside you. Open up and talk to someone, get out of the house, go for a walk, get exercise, make your heart beat faster, meet someone new, try something new. All of these things are ways of releasing energy. They can help bring new energy in and help rinse out old, stagnant, negative energy. Obviously, these things aren't going to permanently kill your depression, but that's the whole point of this video. Depression is a beast that you can't kill, but you can tame it. If you stop treating it with so much resistance, you'll find it has a whole lot less power over you. The bottom line is depression is just as much a part of you as your happiness, as your goals, as your dreams. It is part of who you are. And the longer you fight against it, the longer you will continue to be depressed. You will never find inner peace declaring war on yourself.